Hey, welcome Amy Barney here. How are you today? All right, let's do a Valentine look. I don't know if you saw my post that I did earlier today. I'm pretty sure it went up. <laughs> um, and I am early, I apologize for that, but I rarely have this time where they canceled therapy and so my son's in bed early and I'm ready to go. So we are gonna work it. <laughs> Cause I've been on a roll today, okay? I've been cranking out stuff like, like nobody's business and it feels good to get stuff done. All right, so let's do this. I really, really love these colors. They're so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. So I've tried a couple different looks uh, and I'm gonna do a different one tonight. So let's go for it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, now I do have a base face on, we're just gonna do the eyeshadow, liner, mascara, and the blush because this, if you would like more information, just say kudos. Uh, it saves you 20% and it gets this gorgeous exclusive palette to just this month and you get this crease, fluffy crease brush, which I really like a lot, and your choice of a blush. And I will show you four of the six colors. They came out with some new ones. This is one of the new ones. Uh, all right, let's get started. So what are you all up to today? I am going to actually start with Wood in the crease, which I actually wore in the lid the other time. So I'm going to do this in the crease. And go ahead and get that in there. So I move my mirror over a little bit. Now what I love, these colors are pretty light and I'm pretty pale myself, but they blend really nicely together and I like them. It's like I could wear this palette every day. I love this combo of colors. And you know, if I wasn't a makeup girl and I wasn't trying to show all different types of stuff to everybody and relate to other people, which I still love to do, I would wear this like every day. Uh, because I could easily get stuck in my routine. Welcome Candy. Get stuck in my routine and just wear the same thing every day because that's what I did for a long time. And I could totally do this every day. Such a pretty palette. This is kind of like a mauve brown, mm, purpley, burgundy, burgundy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. This one's so pretty, a shimmer. And a white. We've not had a white before, so that's exciting. I'm going to put that one on my lid today. But because I'm so white, I did put a pressed powder foundation first on my lid. Otherwise, I tried it without, and it just, got, <laughs> it just blends in with my skin. But when I put a foundation base, then the white shows up better. So that was helpful. Anyways, I have really been loving this morning wake up. It has, it is transforming my life. Uh, and I never ever in a million years would have thought that I would say that because <laughs> I've been so anti waking up early my entire life. But it is definitely making a change. All right, I'm going to put this in the outer V. We're not going to use this one today. I did on the other one, but I used all four before. But I'm just going to use these three tonight. Okay, so we're going to do this in the outer V, and I'm going to blend it um, into the gorgeous, like, metallic pinky, whatever it is. It's so pretty. So I'm giving it this um, beautiful like smoked out look there with that and it's so soft and pretty and purple is such a flattering color for so many people. So this is 20% savings on this bundle. If you'd like more details, just, you know, either shoot me a message or comment below. No pressure. Of course, you know, if you're interested, great. If not, no worries. All right. So let's do the other eye. You guys all know how much I love eyeshadow though. All right. So I am heading to Houston on Friday. I'm super excited. I get to go get trained by the famous Eric Worre. I don't know if you've heard of him. If you're not in network marketing, you probably haven't, but you might have. He's written um, GoPro, um, but he is the top leader in the network marketing industry. He, he coaches and trains so many people, and my company has um, partnered with him, and he's, he's doing a lot of training for us, and so I'm really excited to get there and meet him and hear from other top leaders and have a family reunion. I mean, hello, I've got my brother and sister there in Houston and my parents are coming out as well uh, because my sister-in-law had a baby who I get to meet for the first time and, she, and the baby's getting blessed on Sunday. So it's just gonna be such a fabulous weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. I love timing business with family. It's, it's the best. You know, to go visit family and, and go to these events that transform my life. And it's a tax write-off, you know. <laughs> I'm going to 
enjoy and you know personal development and becoming a better person and feeling amazing and spending lots of time with family and I get to write it off as a tax write-off it's just the best I can't say enough about how much of a blessing it is to have your own small business really when it comes to tax purposes it saved us thousands of dollars uh, and I get to write off you know my skincare and my the stuff that I show I get to write it off all of it and I get to play in all of it it's so fun and I get to write it off Plus all these, you know, events I go to, yes, I am so excited. I mean, to have, I mean, we're just missing one sister, but to have that many of us together is pretty cool. So she was missing at our last get together too, but she just had a baby. So I totally understand. All right. Um, but really, really excited. Okay, let's try this white one again. I gotta kind of pack it on. If you have darker skin, you're probably not gonna need to. And if you have light skin like me, a great thing you can do, um, hmm, I don't have a clean brush, but just take it and you can highlight right here and it's really pretty, just on the top, right under the brow. But um, if you're not as pale as me, you probably don't have to pack it on, but I'm pretty pale and I kind of want it to show up a little bit, so I don't want it to just look like my lid color. So I, I am putting on more shadow than I typically do right here just to make sure it shows so there there you go it still looks pretty similar to my lid color but I think it, it gives it enough of a contrast to look a little bit different and it's, it's just really pretty it's a nice soft look all right so really really easy shadow here I think this is great for beginners and anybody who's not a beginner too because it's just gorgeous but it's super easy to blend together and so you don't have to worry about harsh lines it just all of these colors just flow they are in flow. I feel like my day is in flow today. <laughs> it's been a really good day. Just, you know, loving it. You know, when everything, you feel good and you get everything done, it feels amazing. And today was that day. Yesterday I was not feeling as, as strong and able and more sluggish. And today I am feeling amazing. All right. I think, I mean, I think it's pretty even. It's hard to see on live. Now what I'm going to do for my eyeliner... I'm going to use like three different ones. You don't have to. I like to use the purple under my eye. Just a little bit. And this one is purposeful, I think. Purposeful. And I'm going to soften that. I just go for really soft here. I forgot to do my dip and draw. But you could do several things. You could go with a liquid liner, which is what I'm going to use on top. You could do, um, you can tight line under here and it, you know, gives it a really fine line on top. Um, but I'm going to go with dip and draw and then I'm going to tight line. That's usually my preference. All right. So let's get that ready. Anybody doing anything fun for Valentine's Day? I'm not. <laughs> we already went out. That's typically what we do. We're pretty boring on Valentine's Day. We went out and did our thing already on Friday when our therapist didn't was canceled as well. So I hate crowds and I'm not going to go and try and beat the crowds on Valentine's Day. Nope. I'm not sure if we've ever done that. Maybe once we did and we learned our lesson. I think we might have done it with a couple once and it was when we were first married. Learned my lesson. We don't do that. My husband and I are homebodies, so we like to sit in the quiet <laughs> and go on nights when it's normal crowd, not crazy crowd. Oops, went a little high there. Q tip. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. We're good. All right. Let's close that off. Let that dry for a second. Now, the only tricky thing when you're um, wearing a really light shade for me like this, when I put my mascara on, because I typically, because my lashes have gotten so long and I like to brush up that I get it on my lid. And this is a really light color. So I'm going to try to be a little more careful, but if it does happen, no worries. You can grab a Q-tip, just, you know, wipe it off real quick or put some more shadow over it, and that usually works for me. Um, but, you know, it does show up a little bit more with the white shadow. <laughs> All 
But what do you think of it so far? Pretty? I like it. It's a pretty popular shades. I think the shades are really hot right now. All right, let's get our mascara on, the Epic. Okay, I'm not gonna pull up as much and get as much curl just because I don't want to get my lid coated. Sorry, somebody just messaged me. I was like, who's that? Okay, let's get, thank you. Yeah, I really like it. It's very pretty. What do you guys like to wear for Valentine's? Do you like to wear more reds? Because that is a popular color as well, wearing red. But I think these colors are a lot more forgiving. <laughs> Easier to pull off for anybody. And just spreading my lashes out. All right, that's one coat. Welcome, Barbara. We are doing the special shadow this month. It's so pretty. It's in the kudos, 20% off with the blush and the fluffy crease, crease brush. And I just used the three top colors today, the white, the pink, and purple. All right, there we go. And I think I, I gotta do one more coat of Epic. <laughs> All right, any questions? Feel free to post below. Let me know what you're doing. If you're doing anything fun for Valentine's Day or if you have any traditions you like to do or if you're anti-Valentine's Day, you know. I know there's that Galentine's Day I've never really been huge into Valentine's Day, but hey, you know, it's another way to celebrate. <laughs> All right, let's get in the second coat on. And, all right, let that dry, and let's do blush, and then I might come back and do the other liner. All right, so let's show you the blush shades. Um, oh nice candlelight dinner at home now that's perfect because you don't deal with the crowds and that is nice that's very you know romantic and relaxing get to spend time with your significant other that's a great thing to do all right so there is a new shade sisterly it's kind of like a pink and they kept so they've revamped the blush I'm pretty excited about this because I haven't used these original blushes in a while because they're so pigmented which is good because they last forever. But if you're really pale like me and it's super hyper pigmented and a little bit goes a long way, it's a lot harder to blend. And so when they came out with the metallic ones last year, I love them because they go on light and they're really easy to blend. But they've kept the three most popular shades, sweet, stunning, it's hot pink, and seductive. So these three are still there, but they, they redid the formula so it's more like the metallic ones. So they're still matte, but it's just, it's more like the ones that they created more recently. So they are very, they go on light and they're very buildable. And so I'm thrilled about that. So those three are available. There's this one and there's a mauve, which I've never seen. It's a mauve blush and a peach undertone type blush. And so there's six of them brand new, just came out and they, you get to choose one with the eyeshadow plus the fluffy crease brush. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one on. Now there are, Three different brushes you could choose for using on blush. Your typical blush brush. Um, I lately have been using the fan brush because I really like it light. Um, and then they came out with this brand new spiking one that's supposed to be really good for you know getting the apples of your cheeks. I don't really like a lot there. It's a great brush, feels amazing, but I tried it the other day and it put a little too much on for me because I'm so white, okay? And I really go light, but it is really soft and it's really good. It's great for that, you know, right here and then blending it out. So you choose what works for you. There are options. So let's put on Sisterly is what it's called. 
and I am gonna go with the fan brush it's my preference for me just because as you can see I go really light I go really light with all of that there I get enough redness naturally I don't really want to accentuate a lot so and I like the being able to blend it in very softly all right there we go very blendable very easy to put on <laughs> all right and let's throw on a lip color I'm gonna go with my favorite lucid lip gloss I love just easy lips <laughs> that sounds dirty <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant no fuss easy to use of course, I love a bold lip, but oh, it's just, I love to just slap on something easy and no fuss, right? There we go. There's our look. So I won't keep you any longer. What I will do after is I'm just going to white, I'm going to put white liner here on the inner eye. Helps to open your eyes. And I'm going to tight line on the top under the lashes here on the waterline. And that just fills in any gaps, you know, any fleshy gaps so that it looks a little bit more complete. So that's all, and that is our look for tonight. Hope you like it. Hope you guys are going to have an amazing Valentine's, and if not, you know, if you don't have a special someone, treat yourself to something amazing. You know, do something special for yourself. Pamper yourself. It's important to take the time to take care of you. All right. I hope you guys have a great night. I'll um, take pictures and post it below, and I will see you next week. And, yeah. Bye. Thank you.